Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I got my hair done today, so the roots are looking good. I told Sarah to not style it because I'm gonna style it tomorrow because we're gonna be shooting something, but we are settling in quite nicely, aren't we, Riley? Yes. I wanted to give you guys a little update on where the furniture is right now. We also painted Jason's room so I can throw in a clip later, but right now we have reoriented the living room because it looks like we might have a different plan. We were originally going to do a mounted TV slash plug right here over the fireplace, but we decided that I think what we might end up doing is keeping the TV next to it, getting like a better credenza slash final holder. And then we want to have some sort of sectional that's going to go kind of right where this couch is and then across the bay window. So that as of right now is the game plan. And we're like testing it out right now with our couch up against the wall. We did have the couch kind of floating in the middle of the room right in front of the fireplace. And it felt very like formal and like, I don't know, it just didn't feel super cozy. I really like having the couch now here up against the wall slash in the corner and then when we get the sectional eventually a while from now it will go like kind of across the bay window and it will just be a cozy corner so that's kind of the first update that we've done it also makes the room feel a lot bigger which we also really like but this is the view now kind of you can see the fireplace becomes more of like a artistic kind of centerpiece and then obviously we want to get a better holder for our vinyl because this looks like a college dorm room because it is from a college dorm room. I really like it so far. I like having our chair in here. I'm actually going to be opening up our new gantry light because I think this guy right here might go up to Jason's studio or we might put the gantry light in his studio. I'm not sure yet. I'm really excited though because it's a floor lamp. So it's like a bigger piece. I really like having these windows though because the natural light's really good. It's actually a really kind of cloudy day today. It definitely gets a lot brighter in here, especially with the tall window. Oh, I want to show you guys too. We removed some blinds in here on that window and then a different window. So it feels a little bit more clean. We're making slow progress. My family was here the other day and my uncle actually owns a construction business here in Nashville and his son and like other family members work for that business as well so we literally have people in construction in our family and they came here and they were just like taking down blinds and like fixing things and like nailing boards on the deck and like it was honestly crazy I was just like walking around watching all of them like take on the house and I was like wow this is crazy like they just knew what they were doing and Jason and I if you haven't been able to pick up on it are not that handy like we're very creative people but when it comes to like house things we are just very hesitant and we don't feel super confident in our ability to like renovate anything so when we do the floors and stuff we'll probably have to hire some well probably we will have to hire somebody and then we're gonna try to paint as much as we can i think in the spring i think we're gonna wait because fall is usually really busy for me so we're gonna wait until spring how do you open this one? Oh, this is different than the last light i opened Ooh. oh this is so guys this is so cool So here she is, the lamp. Also, we moved the mirror over here because we are gonna be bringing a piano into our home per Jason's request. <laughs> so we're bringing a piano in the home per your request. <laughs> so mirror's over here now, which I think is actually gonna be really cool. And this is our new light. And I love the way that it looks. It looks way better than this guy. Do you like it, Rye? <gasps> Ew. 
Yeah, we've gotten hurt from trying to fix things at this house. Dude, my shins look the same way. This is where the mirror's gonna go now, so hopefully the light will be good. I kind of like that you can see the fireplace though. It's kind of cool. You can see more of like the high ceilings, but outfit of the day, Madewell shorts, like UT sweatshirt from Princess Polly maybe. And then these are the Dolce Vita little sandals. So, let's see if he's out here. Jay was. Did he just go inside? Did he just go inside? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was first mo. I put the warranty card in there so I could register for a free rapid charger. So. Look at our little mower. It's such a cutie. Oh, cute. It's a cutie. It's definitely like small, but this is literally our yard. That half, and like maybe this is all mulch. Like literally from like here over. That's the whole yard. Doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Look at my man cutting the yard. It's a real man right there. <laughs> it's so tiny. I came inside and Riley has been watching Jawaz Mo out there. What's he doing? You've never seen a Mo before. Oh, we're stretching. Oh. Riley, Nux. Good job. So perfect. Here we go. Yay! Oh, but still gotta be able to watch dad. Still gotta be able to watch. Right out the window. Who is it? Who's there? It's dad. All right, first painting project of the new house. Jason's wall. If you guys watched our empty house tour, you saw the built-in that was once here. Jason and his dad took this whole thing down. And now we are painting over their terrible paint job. They literally just painted around the built-in. Which I understand because that thing was so big and so heavy. But we finally found the right paint. The owners left all the paint in the garage. And luckily there was some left for this room. So, <laughs> taped it up. <That's> so <laughs> I like the tuck you got going on there. Yeah, you got to keep all the stuff keep inside it all. when you're painting, you know? <laughs> so we borrowed this ladder from our very friendly neighbor. It's a 12 footer, which we need to get one ourselves, but we can't fit it in our car. So we got to get one shipped here. Anyway, long story short, we're painting today. Day, but within the last hour some stuff has happened china cabinet gone which actually makes the room feel a lot bigger so we went and turned the dining room table the other way and then eventually we'll get like a bigger table and some nicer chairs but now we got this big empty wall we're gonna put art on there and then also at the literal exact same time this piano got delivered from movers so now we've got a piano built-in's gone dad <laughs> Shall I play it? Play it. So now we have a piano, which is actually why we moved the mirror here. So we're trying to figure out where everything goes. And also, my ice cream got delivered. <laughs> so we're gonna unbox this baddie and put it in the freezer. Sea salt caramel poppables. Wow. 
peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, you like those? That's not good. <laughs> is this dairy free stuff or not? Is it's it straight up yogurt. Yogurt. pistachio? It's all yogurt. yogurt yeah. Pistachio is my jam. Pistachio. Yeah. Cookies and cream! Mint chip sandwiches. Those are my ish. Yeah, how much is in there, dude? Mint oh, chip crap. sandwiches. Come on, give me another peanut mint butter sandwich. Mint popsicles. Oh, I'm gonna have oh, these. And then more mint popsicles. Right yeah. All right. Okay, what do you want, Jaywaz? Peanut butter sandwich? Dude, don't even ask me. You know, for the stash. It's so frozen. But I could, ooh, there's like, like nuts on it. it. Tastes like a York peppermint patty. Yum. This is where I have been working because why would I not work here? I've just been kind of like set up here the last couple of days to catch up because I haven't really been working in the last like two weeks. Like we've been working a little bit, but honestly we've been doing mostly house stuff, which has been so fun. I just love working on little projects around here and settling in it's just been oh, such a dream but i feel like in my last vlog when we left our rental i didn't really like film our actual like goodbye i don't know for some reason i wasn't feeling like super sad about leaving i was actually just like this is awesome like we're done we're out we've moved and jason and i have been processing the last two weeks recently we just kind of feel like the really simple season of renting is over and if any of y'all have gone from renting to owning you kind of understand this but it's just a really sweet season renting and not having a lot of responsibilities or things to take care of and obviously we love our home like it is perfect for us but it's a lot of maintenance and we've realized that over the last couple of weeks like we have to take care of the fish in the pond and we have to do the pool and we have some help right now like we have someone to service our pool every week to make sure chemicals are good and stuff like that but we have to learn you know where all the switches are where you turn everything off in case something happens and i'm learning the irrigation system right now because we like didn't have it turned on for a day and that was kind of weird so there's so many little things to learn with home ownership and it's so fun but oh my gosh y'all i remember the days when we were renting like literally two weeks ago it was like something broke oh we'll just call maintenance like it was so just like whatever and now it's like anything that like breaks or just has a hiccup it's like immediately you just see dollar signs and you're like hmm can we fix this on our own or are we gonna have to hire somebody and pay them to fix it for us so it's just been like a lot of growing pains obviously all good things like i would never trade it for anything like this is where we're supposed to be i feel so at peace here the reality is setting in that like we own this and we are responsible for everything on this property and the past owners did such a good job of taking care of it and loving it and so we want to do the same like we don't want to just put something off like if there's something that needs to be fixed like we want to fix it immediately and so we're going to be doing a couple things to the pool just some maintenance stuff but obviously that costs money so we're delaying our furniture purchases and our paint purchases it's just gonna be a slow process but that's okay because i think we see ourselves here for like 10 years like we really see ourselves here for a really long time so we want to do it right and we are okay with being patient and taking our time with it. it doesn't have to happen all in the first year and it certainly won't happen all in the first year i really loved our old place because it was simple it was small there wasn't a lot to clean like i didn't have to spend that much time cleaning it, it was super fast and it was honestly really really low maintenance i mean obviously they didn't fix like the mold and stuff but if anything happened i could just call maintenance and be like can you look at this and it wasn't from my pocket so it's been interesting that place was such a blessing because it really allowed us to save and to get in a really good financial spot i feel like that place really set us up to be really good savers and to also live in contentment and now that we're here we're like okay we still need to be really good at saving while we're in this house but anyway that's kind of how we've been feeling the last few days i haven't really been very good at vlogging like a story or like a whole day just because it's been like a little bit here and there that i feel like is worth vlogging and then most of it i've just been like on my computer trying to keep up with emails and get back into like filming i really like 
have been loving filming these vlogs because this just feels like the season that I'm in right now. I just want to share all of this with you guys. But I've been like so bad at filming like sit down videos, like hauls and all that other stuff. I just feel like I want to just do vlogs. Like all I want to do is vlogs. But I'm trying to get back into like my normal work routine schedule and stuff like that but it is very very difficult i also am painting my nails right now i did one coat on my nails and my toenails because they looked so bad from the move but i've been using these polishes so typically i will gel my nails but i'm giving my nails a break from gel just because if you do it all the time it can just kind of like strip away at your nails and it can make your nails kind of brittle so when I don't do gel polish though, I use this brand. This is the only brand that has worked for me that stays on seriously for like 10 days without chipping. Like obviously if you're doing crazy stuff with your fingers and you're like picking at stuff, it will probably chip within the first like seven days. But if you're like pretty good about keeping your nails nice, they last forever and their colors are so beautiful. So this is the brand called Olive and June. And I think I might've shared this brand with you guys on here before four but i think it was a while ago but i am doing this color on my nails currently it's like this really pale peach and then this color on my toenails but their polishes are just like the absolute best they're super shiny and just like super smooth like they go on really smooth even if you're not very good at painting your nails they actually go on really really well so i have a discount code i'll link it down below and you can check it out if you want you can get like 20 percent off but Yes, I'm doing my nails, doing some emails. I took a popsicle break because I was like looking at the sunroom and they were literally moving a piano in and moving the built-in out at literally the exact same time. I was like in the sunroom painting my nails and I looked up and I was like, what is happening? But Jay Waz was in charge of all of it. So he made sure it was all good, but it's been a little bit crazy today. Also, before I like end this vlog, I wanna do a little try on of some Abercrombie pieces that I got so I'm gonna finish up some work here and I will pick back up with you guys in a second okay I finished up my work and I'm about to go try on the Abercrombie stuff but guys I just went out to the garage and there was a package left by our garage from Yazo they sent over those frozen yogurt popsicles and they also sent me a pool float, a mint chip pool float. One, mint chip is my favorite flavor of ice cream, of froyo. It is truly my favorite flavor. In pool float form. Are you kidding me? So you already know I'm gonna blow this thing up. <laughs> cream stick. Okay, time to throw it in the pool. You want to get on it? I'm close. <laughs> I don't see the problem with that. I don't know if I have shown you guys this room yet, but this is my office slash future filming room however right now it's just an absolute mess this is the room that probably should have been put together relatively quickly however it's the one that got neglected the most i realized though that i don't have any like furniture for an office all i have truly is a desk so it feels very empty in here but i want to do some kind of like maybe like built-ins or clothes rack or just something to make it feel like an actual space because right now it definitely just feels like an empty bedroom. I wanted to show you guys my closet. So in here is where I've got my longer dresses, like I said, stuff that I don't wear as much. And then 
I finally have a place to put all of my PR packages and stuff that I need to open up for unboxings and hauls and stuff. I have a place. At least it can go behind a closet. I have so much free people to show you guys. I think they sent over like seven separate shipments of stuff. So there's so much stuff to do for that. But we're gonna open up some Abercrombie because this came in before we moved and I did not open it. So we're gonna open it now. Oh, I will say though, it's so nice to like have a room even though there's nothing in it and it definitely just feels like a little bit chaotic. It is so nice to like, have a place to just put stuff that isn't in the living room because I used to put all of my packages and everything literally just on the living room floor and that was a little bit stressful because I feel like my work was always looking at me all the time. So feels good, but I'm so excited to open this up. Let's see what we got. We've got two pairs of denim and two tops. So the first pair, which I just adore, there's denim. The first pair are some distressed jeans. These are the ankle straight ultra high rise jeans. They are distressed, they are an ankle length, so they're gonna be great because I'm so short. They've got the distressing on the knee and on the bottom. Really, really cool jeans. Very different than anything that I have. I really hope these fit. Okay, the next pair that I got, these are the 90s straight ultra high rise jean. And I believe these are like the super, super trendy popular jeans that kind of went viral. I think these are the ones, unless I'm incorrect. I'm not on TikTok that much. There's like one pair of Abercrombie jeans that went like viral on TikTok, apparently. <laughs> And I think these are them. If I'm wrong, just tell me in the comments. But these are a pair of straight denim, and I'm so pumped for these. I think I got these in short. Yes, I got these in short, and I got the other ones in short as well. These ones are an ankle in short, so these should actually be like short and cropped. These are a regular length in short, if that makes sense. So there's like an ankle length and then just like a regular length. But I love this wash of denim. This is like the most ideal like pair of blue denim. And I love how high-waisted their jeans are. They like really keep you in. The next thing that I got, and I'll try it all on for y'all, is this really, oh, so cute. This is a knit kind of wrap. And it's super sleek, and I think this is gonna be, is this the front? I like literally can't tell. I think once it's on, it's like correct. But when you hold it up, it just kind of looks silly. But once it's on, I think it's gonna be really cute. So I got this knit wrap top. I love this color though, this beautiful like oatmeal color. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm really not sure which I like more, the top or the jeans. First of all, these jeans fit perfectly. Like absolutely perfectly in all areas they are so cute i love the distressing on them and the length guys like they actually are an ankle length which is crazy because i'm five foot two and if you're short like me you know most jeans are ankle but they are full length these are actually like the perfect length i'm so excited about these and then guys this top is so cute i've got it on with some sticky boobs but it is like such a nice knit. It's a little bit thicker of a knit. I love this tan and the fact that it is a wrap top. It's so flattering. Like, it's so, so cute. And it's actually not too cropped. I thought it was gonna be like really, really cropped like to here, but it actually covers like your stomach and everything. So it works perfect with those jeans and I'm just obsessed. And then I've been wanting this top for a really long time. This is the cutest little knit short sleeve, but it has these ties down the front that I just feel like are so stinking cute. So you could wear it over like a cute bralette or like, I don't know, you could probably wear it over some kind of cami. But I just thought this sage green was so beautiful and yeah, I just thought it was really cute. So it's a little bit cropped, not crazy cropped. This top right now that I have on is from Everlane and it's one of their 
activewear tops has like a built-in bra to it i've been wearing it all day and i absolutely love it it is like the same material as their leggings but it's really really cute on and that's just kind of what i've been wearing today okay and these are the other jeans and these are so flattering however because they're not a crop jean these ones fit a little bit longer even though i got the short but how i saw these styled on the abercrombie website is with a heel like i think they're supposed to be a little bit longer because that's the on trend style right now where jeans like go past your ankle i think that's such a funny trend because i've always liked jeans that hit at my ankle i'm here for a trend to try it out they are really really flattering on though so even though they are a little bit long they don't actually make me look shorter these are really really slimming i can definitely see myself wearing a strappy heel with these and I think they're gonna be perfect. I am obsessed with this top. I knew from the second I saw on the website that I was gonna love this top. The color is so beautiful and because these ties kind of fall in front, you really are only seeing like this much of your stomach. It's just kind of like a crop top, but I just love the little sleeves and I'm actually just wearing it with a tan bra, but again, because of these little ties in the front, it hides the bra so you can wear your normal tan bra and it will be just fine. I actually really love these. They're so comfy. That's the thing. Abercrombie jeans are just really, really comfortable and I feel like they fit really nicely. So I'm super excited to wear these and the black ones. Just love this top though. But I'm gonna go ahead and in this vlog here, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. Sorry, it was very like choppy but it ended up being like a week in my life vlog instead if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here and you want to stick around for some more videos i would love to have you back on my channel and i will see you guys in the next one very very soon bye y'all